I've been at Skadden for a little over two years and I took uh, my first pro bono case within the first month actually. It was important to me to take on cases in the DC courts because I had just moved here and I wanted to learn more about the community and I think a really exciting part about doing pro bono as an associate is you get the guidance of these incredibly commu incredible community organizations. So they're the ones you know doing this work day in, day out, they're the experts, but they just need manpower. So to be able to like offer that and learn about what they're doing, not just in the courts, but outside of the courts to form community and to feed off of each other's resources has been, I think, really motivating for me. So since joining the firm, I've been involved in criminal record sealing matters um, in partnership with Rising for Justice. And that work has been inc incredibly rewarding because oftentimes the clients there are folks who were arrested but actually never charged with a crime. Yet that arrest sort of follows them in everything that they do everything from trying to enroll in school, to get access to housing, to chaperoning their kids' field trips. So it really like runs the gamut. And when we come in, it's actually a very simple process as an attorney to file the motion. You just have to sit down with your client for about an hour, two hours, get a little bit of paperwork, but there's very little lift on our part and then such a great reward on the back end for our clients. If I could um, give some advice to a new lawyer who's just starting off their practice here in DC, I would definitely tell them to get involved in the work that's being done in the DC Superior Court because there's so much need in this community and the community organizations and legal services providers are amazing, but they really need the manpower. And it can be rewarding in so many different ways to get involved, not just for like your personal development and building those skills, but also to feel integrated into the community and have a better sense of like what's really happening in the place where you live. Because it can be easy, I think, sometimes to get like tunnel vision, walking to work, walking home, going to the same restaurants, but to have a better perspective of what's really happening outside of those silos is part of what it means to live in the city.